Hello, in this session we are going to learn clipper circuits. Clipper circuit is a circuit that clips off some part of the input signal. These circuits are applications of junction diodes. For simplicity, we are going to consider ideal diodes. Ideal diode will have 0 volts potential difference across it when it is forward bias. Hence, when this diode is forward bias, it can be replaced by a short circuit. There are two types of clipper circuits, series clipper circuits and parallel clipper circuits. In series clipper circuits, diode is connected in series with the load resistance, whereas in the parallel clipper circuit, it is connected parallel to the load resistance. Load resistance is nothing but resistance offered by a device connected at the output of the clipper circuit. For all the circuits that we are going to analyze in this session, we will be considering load resistance equal to infinity. We have already learned half wave rectifier. Half wave rectifier is a basic series type of clipper circuit. Let us have a look at the working of half wave rectifier once again and see why it can be called as a basic series type of clipper circuit. So this is the circuit diagram of a half wave rectifier and we can say that we are giving a pure sine wave as an input to this circuit. Looking at the way the diode is connected, we can see that during the positive half of the input cycle, the diode will be forward biased. When the diode is forward biased, it will act as closed switch. If the diode is closed switch, output voltage is total input voltage. And so, during this full positive half of the input signal, output voltage is going to be identical to the input signal. We can see now that during the negative half of the input signal, the diode is going to be reverse bias. If the diode is reverse bias, it will act as open switch. If it is an open switch, there won't be any current flowing through the resistance R and the output voltage then will be equal to 0. And so we can see that if we give pure sine wave at the input of this half wave rectifier, during the positive half of the inputs, output will be equal to the input signal, whereas the negative halves of the input signal are clipped off. This diode is connected in series with the output and so this is a basic series type of clipper circuit. Instead of sine wave, if we give square wave at the input, we can see that during the positive half again the diode is forward bias giving us output equal to the input. Whereas during the negative half, the diode is reverse bias giving us output voltage equal to 0. Let us see few modifications to this basic series clipper circuit. Here we have connected a DC power supply in series with this diode. Now to decide whether the diode is forward bias condition or reverse bias condition, we have to look at the voltage at its anode that is at point A with respect to the point G that is VAG. Looking at this circuit, we can write the equation for VAG as minus V plus VI. Going from point A to point G through the DC power supply and input voltage, we find that we are going from negative terminal of the DC power supply to its positive terminal. So we write this as minus V and then we go through the input voltage VI which is changing with time. So VAG is changing with time and that is always equal to minus V plus VI. Here we assume one more thing and that is if we are giving this kind of pure sine wave at the input, we assume that the peak value of this sine wave that is Vm is going to be greater than the DC power supply voltage V. So here we have shown the DC power supply voltage V at this level on this sine wave. VAG will be equal to 0 when Vi is equal to V and this Vag will be greater than 0 for Vi greater than V. That means for Vi greater than V, the diode is going to be forward bias. So Vi is changing with time. We can see that from this point to this point, Vi is greater than V and so during this time, the diode is going to be forward bias. When this diode is forward bias, it is going to act as a closed switch. If this diode is a closed switch, 
V naught that is voltage at this point with respect to G is nothing but V A G and so V naught will be equal to minus V plus V I from time T1 to T2 and again from time T3 to time T4. At time T1 V I is equal to V. So using this equation we can see that V naught will become 0. Similarly at time T2 and again at time T3 and T4 V naught will be equal to 0. Whereas when input goes to the positive peak value Vm, the output will be equal to Vm minus V using the equation given here. From this time to this time, Vi is less than V. Hence, the diode is going to be reverse bias because now Vag is going to be less than 0, that is negative. When diode is reverse bias, it will act as open switch. If this diode is open switch, there will not be any current in the circuit and V0 that is voltage across this resistance R will remain 0. So we can notice over here that when we give this pure sign wave as an input to this particular circuit, part of the input signal from T2 to T3 is clipped off and so this circuit is also a clipper circuit. Let us see how the circuit will function if we invert the DC source. So here we have inverted the DC source. Now VAG will be equal to V plus VI. So this VAG will be equal to 0 when VI is equal to minus V. And it will be greater than 0 for all values of VI greater than minus V. That means now diode will be forward bias for all values of Vi greater than minus V. So let us have a look at the input signal. We have shown the input signal with its positive peak at Vm and negative peak then at minus V. And the battery voltage is shown here as minus V. Thus for all the values of Vi greater than minus V that is from this point to this point the diode is going to be forward bias. When the diode is forward bias, it will act as a closed switch. And if diode is acting as a closed switch, output voltage will be equal to VAG, which is equal to V plus VI. And thus, at time T2, when the input voltage is equal to minus V, output voltage will be equal to 0. Similarly, at time T3, the input voltage again becomes minus V, making output voltage equal to 0. When input has gone to its peak value that is equal to Vm, the output voltage will be equal to V plus Vm. When this Vi is less than minus V, Vag is going to be negative and so the diode will be reverse bias. So from this point to this point, when Vi is less than minus V, the diode will be reverse bias and it will then act as open switch. If this diode is acting as an open switch, there will not be any current in the circuit and the voltage across the resistance that is the output voltage will be equal to 0. And so from time T1 to time T2, the output voltage is 0 and from T2 to T3, the output voltage is going to be equal to V plus Vi. Here again we have seen that part of the input signal between T1 to T2 is clipped off and so this is also a clipper circuit. Now we will see working of a parallel clipper circuit. Here I have drawn diagram of parallel clipper circuit where diode is connected parallel to the output terminals of the circuit. If we give pure sine wave as an input to this circuit, we can notice that during the positive half of the input signal, the diode will be forward bias because anode will be at higher potential with respect to cathode. Whereas during negative half of the input signal, anode is at a lower potential with respect to cathode and so diode will be reverse bias. So we can see that during the positive half of the input signal, diode will act as a closed switch and output voltage will be equal to 0. And during the negative half of the input signal, diode is going to be an open switch 
and output voltage will be now equal to the input voltage. And so the positive half of the input signal is clipped off. Now let us have a look at parallel clipper circuit having a DC power supply connected in series with the diode. Here I have shown DC power supply connected in this particular fashion. Now if we give a pure sine wave at the input of this particular circuit where we assume that the peak value of the sine wave is greater than the magnitude of this DC voltage then we can notice that when the voltage at its anode is greater than minus V the diode will be forward bias. So along this sine wave here I have shown the level of minus V and from this point to this point V i will be greater than minus V and the diode will be forward bias for this much time. Whereas when the voltage at its anode is more negative than the voltage at its cathode the diode will be reverse bias. So for the input signal giving value less than minus V the diode will be reverse bias. When the diode is forward bias, it will act as a closed switch. Now, output is taken across this path and that will be now minus V. So, from this point to this point where input voltage is greater than minus V, output voltage will be equal to minus V. Whereas, when diode is in reverse bias, it will act as open switch and output voltage will be nothing but the input voltage. Hence, from this point to this point where input voltage is less than minus V, the in output voltage will be equal to the input voltage. Thus, here we notice that this part of the input signal is clipped off and so again this is a clipper circuit. Let us have a look at the same circuit by inverting the polarity of the power supply. Now, this diode will be forward bias when the anode is more positive than the DC power supply voltage. Hence, from this point to this point where Vi is greater than V, the diode will be forward bias. Whereas, from this point to this point, the input voltage is less than V, that means anode voltage is going to be less than the cathode voltage and diode will be reverse bias. So, over this much time, diode will act as close switch giving us output voltage is equal to the battery voltage that is plus V. From this point to this point diode will act as open switch and output voltage will be equal to the input voltage. So again in this case this part of the input signal is clipped off. So let's see some tips to analyze working of a clipper circuit. Part, part 1. Determine the range or path of the input signal over which the diode is going to be forward bias. Assume a short circuit in place of diode over that range of the input. Determine the output voltage with the given input with a short circuit in place of diode. Part 2. Determine the range or part of the input signal over which the diode is going to be reverse bias. Assume an open circuit in place of diode over that range of input. Determine the output voltage with the given input, replacing diode by an open circuit. We have learned how to analyze the working of a series and parallel clipper circuits with and without a DC power supply in series with the diode. Homework for you. Analyze the working of every circuit that we studied in this session by inverting the polarity of diode, keeping it at the same place. Thank you.